I love the brown that we've got going over on oh, this side. Wow. Thank you. I like your sweater. Thank you. Have I not have I not worn this before? I don't think I have. I don't think I've ever seen you in it. Yeah. I'm trying to get away from hoodies. I feel like they're a little a what? <laughs> okay, little... well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like I, I, I just I wear them. I I basically only wear hoodies, so they're getting Me a little too. um repetitive. Yeah, you're a bit of a hoodie guy, Carly. Really rocking the religious. Thank uh, you. The, the the father. The, yeah, I became Christian father? this weekend. Because it says Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Is it just in case you forget how to mm-hmm. bless yourself? Yeah, There's, uh... my Catholic aunt, who's a nun, sent this to me. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. You have an aunt who's a nun? Okay, well, I'm kidding that she sent it to me, but I do have an aunt that's a nun. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. The, the fact that you thought this would be nun merch is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> nun merch. Did it's she... from the Brin Praying. That's the funny bags that we have. Like, right. they give girls money. Favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is your aunt who's a nun? Like, w- does she, like, post a lot on social media? Is she just, like, crazy that <laughs> with the girls? Like, No, but she does send me a ton of... Uh, messages on facebook and she watches our podcast oh wow so thanks, does she, does thanks she, pinky does she post like hey, her name's pinky well that's like her is she the one who keeps suggesting we have a religious episode <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that's her does she but... post catholic memes and stuff no. <laughs> like... the thing is you have never seen her dressed up in her catholic in or the in garb? her yeah and her nun oh. garb. what is she normally wearing just like football merch I don't just like regular clothes, but I did. I think I sent her a picture of me in my nun costume. We did emo. I don't know if she was offended or not. <laughs> what do nuns do? Um, I don't. All I know is Boy, they're married to God. That is like they're married to God. Yeah. So that's my uncle. It's like what like Hasidic Jews do. When I ask mm. you that question, where I'm like, what do they do all day? Like they read the Torah. Yeah, is that what nuns are doing? Just reading the Bible. Yes, and I mean, helping out at the church what? and teaching. They're teachers. Oh, like okay. nuns are teachers. They work for the church and also promote education. Also, they there do... a lot of them are. Oh yeah, teachers. Like yeah. I've never school seen teachers. a nun with like my Catholic own. Like Catholic like... school teachers. Is nuns yeah. only Catholic? It's just Catholic. Yeah, I think so. And no, my I... mom. It was funny because she's she was my mom's teacher for a class, and my mom would like sneak in her room and get all the answers. And... Your mom all... went to Catholic school. Mm-hmm. So did my dad. Scary. All my dad's teachers were nuns. Sister, yeah. sister oh. Mary. Sister. Sister. Have sister, you yeah. ever seen Superstar? Superstar. What? That's like the best movie. Actually. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I know. I've never, I don't even know what it is. It's um Molly Shannon, what? right? Mary Catherine Gallagher. Molly oh, Shannon, yes. Will Ferrell. No, I her like name her... is Molly Shannon. In the in the show? No, in no, real life. In real life. Mary Catherine, Mary Catherine Gallagher is her name in the show. Oh, in yes. the movie. Yeah. It was like her SNL character. Will Ferrell oh, right. in it. The cheerleaders. You know what my fun fact about Superstar is? You know in the background, every outside scene, anytime you could see the outside in that movie, there is a green Volkswagen Beetle. In what movie? In the movie Superstar. Oh, every time it. you see every outside? Every time. If there's two characters walking on a sidewalk, a green Volkswagen Beetle will go by. If there's two characters in the window, outside there's a green Volkswagen Beetle. Is that like Beetle. a funny little oh, thing I they did? Yes, they is. did it intentionally as like a joke. Oh, no, they, that's funny. So as you watch the movie, you're like, why is this car? It's just this. <laughs> oh, it's in the background. I'll, I'll have to watch it again. It's she kisses a, a tree. It's about a nun? No, it's, it's about this girl who's like, so she goes to Catholic school oh, okay, because okay. all the teachers are nuns. But like, I feel like in a lot of movies and shows, like nuns are like evil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they're always like yeah. hitting kids with rulers. No, yeah. my mom exactly. would tell me that too, though. Yeah. She's like, they would hit us yes. and do all that shit. So <laughs> I don't know. Wait, for God. God. My for God. God. <laughs> Can they not get married? For the bit. No, no. they are married already to it's like a priest. the Lord himself. Like a priest can't get but married. did you say your uncle is? Oh, oh. My uncle's God. So. so in The Sound of Music... <laughs> I've never seen is that. It, she's she goes in nannies that family, but she kind of breaks away from being a nun. She to was fall a nun in love with the Von Trapps. Yes. Oh, something about Maria. <laughs> I've never seen it. I I, I'm sure you can break it she, if you like. Want oh, to. she wants to leave. The but then church. you go to hell. Well, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I think so. I don't. I need. You to... know, we're just gonna do religion today. <laughs> we're so well versed. We know everything. <laughs> like, what are nuns? <laughs> yeah, it says nuns take vows that vary by faith and order, but often involve dedicating themselves to a life of poverty and chastity. Poverty. poverty? No yeah. thanks. Yeah. <laughs> poverty. Poverty. What is that? Doesn't mean poverty. Means I think it's just like else. not yes. without. No, of course. Like she has home. roommates. Like it's like a sister. They were roommates. roommates. And they were roommates. <laughs> and they were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> they probably loved that back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they all saw the, the vine. vines on vine or the nuns on vine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, were there nuns on vine? No, no, no. Oh, sure you're saying these nuns on vine? Yeah, yeah. they're like okay. watching vine, and they're like, and they were roommates. That's us. Now I want to look up nun on TikTok. I'm sure there's tons. There nun has talk? to be yeah. Yeah. nun talk. <laughs> <laughs> they're allowed to use like 
Oh, like yeah, yeah, they yeah. can do all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Amish but she's always is... lived with like other nuns. She's never like lived yeah. There's alone. like house. Don't priests do that too? I think so. I think they, it's like, very all similar. Live in like a home. Yeah, a convent. I think a monastery. Yeah. We stayed uh, in one of those maybe. when I was in um, not Catholic school. It's like Sunday school. Like when I go for confirmation, we did a field trip to a convent, and it was horrifying. <laughs> it, was scary. it was so creepy, and we like stayed there for the weekend. Oh my god! It was real. I'd creepy. be real freaked out at me. Yeah. Does your nun aunt come for like Thanksgiving? Yeah. Like she's like part of the family. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One time I was at the drive-in and saw my priest like out of his priest gear. Oh. He was like playing football with his nephews, and I was like, "What, <laughs> Father John? What are you doing here? <laughs> like you're supposed to do they get, like, be in that all the time? Do they get like care benefits no. oh. and stuff? I don't. I do would... they have to pay taxes? I don't know. No, uh, I really don't. Know. I don't think. No taxes. I know that the church doesn't have to pay taxes, but the employees don't have to pay taxes because you're. Well, they live in the... poverty, so I don't know. Like, I'm. I think I have no idea. I really don't know how it works. We should. Do you want to have should my aunt nun on here? Yeah, Let's that would be her. really great. She's yeah. Like, what the? She's like, do priests pay She's taxes? Like, let me uh, let me see. <laughs> like, like, oh, He's hiding away. Like, oh, what? <laughs> 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 oh. grace, the Lord is with you. <laughs> 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 And Pinky, I'm so sorry if you're watching this. It's out of love, I swear to God. Wait, okay, it says priests, nuns, monks, and brothers who take vows of poverty don't pay taxes as long as they work for a church institution. Wow, Slay. should we all get jobs at a church and then not have to pay taxes? Yeah, I'm going to go do that. Yeah. Well, you have to become a priest. And they can, oh. but they can still vote? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, no, they definitely can. But it says, like, minister, so I think that's, like, those only but if you're like a pastor a minister like those kinds of people yeah. where like you're not married to god Should've... i feel like you do have to pay taxes so ta- god waives well, if you're your taxes to god, you don't care about like you have all the money well if yeah. i wanted to raise taxes i'd be trying to get the nun vote <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna bother them <laughs> i wonder how many nuns there are my uncle is god I, when you oh, said that before, so I crazy. thought like because she's married to a guy who's so great that he's God, but she's not married. <laughs> I would never call a man God, please. Uh, <laughs> Wait, I, this question: Are priests considered self-employed? <laughs> oh, like they're at the end of an LLC? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really wild. That would be an interesting thing to talk about. I know. Like, I remember when I posted. Did you guys watch Righteous Gemstones? Yes. Oh, so oh I saw some of it. So funny. So like mega churches are like basically like a big scam mm-hmm. in terms of money, and I like posted it on my story one time and like i got a couple dms from people who were like my dad is like the i forget what they are at mega like Pastor. ministers pastors whatever mm-hmm. they were like that's not true and i'm like no it is mm-hmm. it's just a lot of money you're spending on on fog machines and yeah. strobe lights when I we know. could be using that money to yeah. maybe help god's people who are in need we got all yeah, the influencers no, here yeah. Yeah. and they're, they're all living in like million dollar like yeah. compounds have you seen the guy who talks about this private jet and how he needs his donations oh, yes. to have a private <laughs> jet? Guy. he goes because i can't be in the tube with the devil people yeah yeah like, just, well, I can't either, sir. Yeah. Where's my private jet? <laughs> can't be in the tube with the devil, people. That that's is... why he needs to raise millions of dollars to buy a private jet. That guy's so scary. Who Man. is it? He's um, some mega pastor. He's mega from church Texas. Guy. He's, uh, he's, he's a guy with a really he, evil he's eyes. Old. Yeah, he's he looks... now really old. I don't even think he's still preaching. You should get married in one of those churches for a bit. <laughs> oh, for a minute? Yeah. For a bit. <laughs> yeah. That would be funny. I live right by the Prestonwood uh, Baptist Church church which is the one that like had like the the drummers during christmas time on the uh like they were like what is it called <laughs> bum people flying? Like, like flying through the air like, flying through the air what? like they were coming in and it was like it went viral around christmas <laughs> time it was like, like, like broadway yes. show insane yeah they so had them so on like uh what do you call someone who's like a trapeze Yes, like t- strapped in and like could fly around stage. Oh my like god! Like a trapeze artist. Yeah. While drumming. Yeah, while That's drumming. That's pretty it's like impressive. Travis Barker shit, where he's like he's that is spinning upside so down. Sick. <laughs> I can't believe they're doing that. His like state, his drum stage is in the air, flying while he's playing yeah. the drums. And it like will go upside down and do it. Th- I don't think he does it anymore. That's fucking. Well, awesome. this drum. tour he's elevated. Oh, they do it. I haven't tour? seen. I haven't seen the. Oh, the, the 360, yeah, that was back in the, Whoa, the 90s. I've yeah. never seen that. The, they would bolt all the drums down, and then during his solo, he would be playing, and like the whole drum <gasps> set would go a full 360, and it was the sickest fucking How thing in the world. How the fuck do you do that? That is you, so you impressive. Did they play for three and a half hours like Taylor Swift? I don't think so. 
Okay, it's not everything's a comparison <laughs> to Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift mm-hmm. is also not playing her instruments herself. I don't care. She plays guitar a little bit. Sometimes. Oh, that's true. Yeah, right? like twice in the show. An acoustic guitar. She's not yeah. a piano. Travis Barkering it. Dude, you Taylor know? Swift yeah. is dominating my TikTok feed lately. Yeah. Same. Like a lot. You too, I am assuming. No, also, actually, Carly I don't... may have some beef with you. With me. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, we were talking about it yesterday. How we were just feeling a little slighted that you don't send us any TikToks or, yeah. you know, say. Oh. Uh, you, you for the last s- like three, four weeks, I don't have. I deleted it off my phone. <gasps> but, yeah, Mike's not like uh, Mike is not chronically online. Yeah, well, he Mike, told I, us I to start. Have, yeah, you I know. told us to start sending I, TikToks. And then how are you not chronically it? online? It's 2023. Be chronically I, online. I also have a, another app, not an ad, called Opal. That from Ooh. 7 a.m. till 4 p.m. Like if I try to open Instagram. Ugh. It just, oh, it won't open. Such a sc- you can override it, right? Yeah, I think that like... you should quit therapy. <laughs> <laughs> do you, like, I really have, like, I admire the discipline, but do you really have a problem? Like, I, when has it gotten out of line where you've been, like. It's not that I have a problem, but I'm just, like, why, I don't need to check Instagram. It's like, not the healthiest, Every I'm sure. eight and a half seconds. Yeah. Like, every time I pick up my phone, I don't need to know who, what the latest story is. I, I can... also feel like we're so, like, if you pick up your phone to do something, you Even get if swept into you something You do else. everything yeah. else. Yes. Yeah. So I get it. You're doing the healthy route. I'm trying to just be a little bit more mindful, be a little bit more present. But TikTok, Grounded. there was like one or two nights. And it was like when you guys and we were sending each other TikToks. <laughs> I Could think you I open on... them? Yeah. Oh, after seven or after four. After four. Then I, yeah. Oh. And so like one night I was like home alone and I, I was on TikTok, I think for like three and a half hours. And I was just yeah. like. We'll see numbers. Oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> I felt like I was a piece of shit. I was like, oh my god, I'm I've done nothing with my life. I just sat on TikTok for three and a half hours. Wait, I did deleted you, it. So you deleted TikTok off your the phone. app? Yeah, not okay. my account. So I still if we can... like text you TikToks, you can see that. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, you can. Oh, still but watch. I also there was one time like a week ago I had to look up something on TikTok, so I went on the the desktop app of TikTok. <laughs> yeah. And then I saw that Carly had sent me a few, so I watched the ones that Carly sent me. Oh, few. I need to open up your DM one sometimes. Sorry. I, I know. Like, I always... I like text texting them to you i would rather dm because it's so much faster it easier. is so much faster um, but then i'm like i, I, she, I know you didn't that. used to be like that though yeah and you guys showed me the way and i was like yeah. this is so much better and i text them to you because i feel like you don't open them yeah i don't i, I don't. can send you guys memes. i don't like I get watching a lot of memes. <laughs> dms kind yeah of yeah because <laughs> well, we were both just like he doesn't even like them or say anything about them oh it's because I, I haven't had tiktok <laughs> on my phone in probably like a month oh proud point. of you that's you're just getting ahead of the curve before it gets deleted is it is that still happening? I, I doubt know. it. I don't know. I yeah. really, really hope not. I don't think so. I feel I like cry. it's like past. They forgot about it. Maybe yeah, in my mind, it. they forgot. <laughs> right. It's like, still definitely being voted on. Mm, I don't know. I just, there was a point where I used to find, I would like laugh a lot. And then it just got really like, when you're building a fire in the woods, here's what you should <laughs> never do. And I'm like, I'm never building a fire in the woods. <laughs> did, Next. You know, did you know you can refresh your algorithm? In what sense? On TikTok, like you can go back to square one because you know oh. everything that it's known for you to like, it's just been like yeah. curated for you. There is a setting. Someone showed it. Uh, I saw a TikTok. Someone explaining it. You go to settings <laughs> and you can go so start meta. brand new <laughs> yeah. all over again. So, so you have a new account, the, uh, a new algorithm to horrifying. figure out what you like. Which, like, I'm like, I'm think I'm kind of ready for, but I like. Are dude, you? Are, you know, are you ready for it? You know how Matt. you can test it out. Boom, yeah, you can boom, test it. It's, boom. Boom. it's insane. <laughs> the the TikToks that they give like a new account are unwatchable. Wild. Or you could just, just go on our Good Influences one and just go through the for you page. Because sometimes I'm oh, on yeah. it for, to upload something and then I forget and I'm like scrolling the for you page. I'm like, what the fuck are these TikToks? Yeah, there's just weird stuff oh. and like, yeah, it's it's weird. gotten a lot better at listening. Like I keep getting mm-hmm. like real creepy things that like I had talked about with people. Oh, like, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. One time, I feel like I told the story. Maybe not. I don't know. But I was, uh, we were, like, at Jason's or something. It was, like, a long time ago. Like, Natalie's mom was here, like, mm-hmm. visiting. I shouldn't lived here. And all of us were talking about um, it's a ride at Disney uh, in Splash the dark. Mountain? Uh, Space Mountain. Yes. And I just brought up, I was like, has anyone seen the videos of Space Mountain with the lights on? Like, it's so goddamn mm. creepy. And, you know, we just, like, chatted about it. And then when I went home, I opened TikTok, and the first video was Space Mountain with the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was no, like, what? I was talking about Nalgene bottles. And when do you ever see a TikTok about a fucking Nalgene <laughs> bottle? I mean, it's only Stanley <laughs> Cups at this TikTok point. I opened TikTok, and it was, like, the first thing I saw. Huh. We should all talk about something real heavy, and then during lunch, see if... 
I've been on really well, positive mental health like TikTok. Like good. I've been I'll get on these strides where it's nothing but information great things mm -hmm. like I need to be framing my mindset about advice about life. It's Can you just send me them? Good, <laughs> DM them to me. Stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I'm on a rush. press and hold and not interested. Aaron, not Aaron, interested. watch it. Watch it. Uh, <laughs> mute all videos with this sound. <laughs> mute therapy I videos. I want to be entertained. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get on strides where it's just nothing but good nuggets yeah. of great things to know, like about like life and the experience and everything. And I sometimes I'm like, that's the best way I could have wasted my Do time. Do you guys ever like TikTok in bed, like next to your partner? Yeah. And you're ever like, what the like, fuck is their feed? Oh, uh, oh, like a lot. Like TJ's no, is like, I guess. watches. Like it'll be like, pe like people talking about watches. Oh, yeah. Zane's like, like Daytona. <laughs> Zane's <laughs> just like violent. World like, star. Yeah. 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 It's so interesting, like how different everyone's yeah. is. Yeah. Well, Nolan's is like strictly cooking, pretty much. I like it's the like ones. It's like food perfect. and plants. Yeah. TJ's like, like, like the that ones too. Where, yeah. uh, girls would i can't remember exactly what the joke was but it was like there would always be a sound where like girls would be shaking their ass and they would try and catch their boyfriend like trying to look at it oh yes they you like play the sound and see yeah. if the boyfriend looks because there's like okay. sounds where it's like every video in that yes. sound is like a hot girl dancing yes. and a girlfriend would play it and she's secretly just recording and then the boyfriend's always looking <laughs> trying to catch a peek and always gets caught or or the guy will just play the sound and record oh, his girlfriend and the girlfriend pissed. will be like yes. what are you watching it's because like over he would and just over watch every sound and then yeah. she's like <laughs> oh my god i like that kind of stuff but yeah maybe i'll i'll i have to i'll log in and see what you guys have sent me i'm sorry it's okay you don't have to apologize i forgive you but for I being did, healthy i i did go out of my way and go through my old likes and sent you ones that i thought that's were so funny. nice oh, that's really nice okay i will i'll download it today well you've I'll... probably seen them by now though because that was like when we first started exchanging I'll, I'll take a look i'll take a look okay. i just listen to audiobooks now instead that's been Ooh, like my anything what have you been... good uh i'm listening i mean no they're they're like self-help Colleen Hoover no I'm <laughs> gonna get Donna Tart next that's my next one Ooh, the, the secret, secret history yeah. I, I did a little bit of the preview <laughs> I like her voice and that's yes. when I went to the movies and oh, yes. we just saw the dead body very, there, and I'm like yeah. Ooh. The good old I haven't listened to an audiobook so by boiler a woman alert <laughs> 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 movies um I'm listening to a book <gasps> what oh my god I can't believe I didn't even bring this up speaking of movies what oh 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 well, you saw air yes <laughs> I turned. I watched the first forty minutes <gasps> last night, and I was like, "Ugh, I get it." I think if you're a big <laughs> sports fan, okay. if you're a big sneakerhead, go see the movie. It is like I I know it's a good movie, but I'm just not into that. Yeah, I, okay, maybe I, I said I that. Like I was like, "Did you watch it?" Yeah, and I liked it a lot. I really wanted to see Viola. I missed when Viola Davis came on the scene. I, I just, I know she's great. Oh, 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 as an actress. I was like, she was in so much of the movie. How'd you miss her? Uh, no, I, just, <laughs> I like, missed her. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Did um, you see it in theaters or at home? No, it's for free on TV. What, what app? Amazon. Prime. Oh. Because I think Amazon made the movie. Wait, it's out right now? Yeah. Yeah. So you should it watch it. But I did say this... that to Carly. I was like, I feel like Mike wouldn't like. Like he would still like. Be like I stay you, strong. You would though. You're into like Nikes and like Michael so Jordan. Good. Stuff. I, maybe if it's free, I just can't, yeah, I can't for free. pay for a Nike commercial. Like, That's insane. <laughs> it, it was a little Nike commercial esque. Like they kept referring back to their their top ten commitments and rules of Nike. Yeah. I was like, what is this? It's a Nike commercial. Well, it kind of has to be though. L last week though, Ella went to go see it in theaters. Oh, and she paid, and she was she was like, "Please come with me. I'm going alone." And I'm like, "I'm not oh, going with she you." She made her go alone. Head, yeah. Did she like it? Well, no. Adam ended up going with her. Oh, that's nice. Because he was like, "Why? I'll go." Did <laughs> they like it? They did. Ella loves Everyone, sneakers. Ella does love sneakers. Yeah. She does. That's true. Does she have like a whole closet of yeah? Just she sneakers? has like a hundred sneakers. <gasps> Damn. It's insane. Are they all like like sick? Yeah. But are, does she like focus on like Air Jordan? Like no, I no. Feel there's like, like boots whoa. and like nice shoes and like. So it's I, not just Nikes and sneakers. She's got a whole. How did you do that in a New York apartment? I don't know. I mean, it's like walls. I have a photo of it on Damn. my phone. I gotta see. Sometimes I want to be a sneakerhead, but then I just like <laughs> fall in love with like sneakers so much where I want to wear them all the time. Like it's, it's. I think it's badass when someone has a whole collection of sneakers where they can just wear them like once or twice, but like you, they're it's, clean. They basically, and... still have like a fresh new pair. Of yeah, sneakers, yeah. Because they haven't worn it that much. I bet you sneakers are going to show up on our TikTok. Sneakers. Uh, sneakers. Here we go. Sneakers. I got these sneakers gifted, and they're like my new favorite shoe. Oh yeah, those are really. Cool. Those are classic. Reebok yeah. classic. Yeah. yeah, they're so fucking comfortable. 
Like walking on them, I'm like, I feel support. I think that's because they're a little wider. Most shoes these days, they keep shrinking the Are width. Are they wide? They look a little thin. Mm. You got to put your foot in this. You, I'll be, there's a lot of support in I'll these. I'll be taking those home. I like them a lot because I'm like a Converse girly and like Vans and there's like no cushion. No, those are the worst for your like back and stuff. Yeah, these are a sleigh. I'm like elderly <laughs> now. I'm like, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Reeboks and Crocs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, well, I tried Vans for a week and my I could, my back, I had back pain. <laughs> you had back pain? Yeah, I had like 22. I was like, what's going on? Oh, Fun no. facts about me, I've never worn a pair of Vans in my life. What? Ne- never owned a pair, never w- even worn a pair of vans you're not missing out it's a good gift oh, idea I love, now i love a van you know the, the conspiracy about the bottoms what have you ever seen the bottom of a pair of vans uh i mean yeah but no. there's it's a bunch of yes. jewish stars in the middle <gasps> right by it's where like... you step and the conspiracy growing up was it's a german company oh. and this was their way of like being anti-semitic was so that you would step on the jews <gasps> oh. with your van <laughs> so like in our <laughs> So like in our Jewish school, like vans like weren't allowed because we thought that vans oh, were anti-Semitic. Weird. But that's not true. No, it's not true. That is not it's true. It's not true. <laughs> but I mean there oh. is Jewish stars on the bottom of vans. Like it's that's... Wait, can you pull up a pic? There's yeah. X's at the bottom. Like there's X's squares. for part of it. Because I never looked close enough. Yeah. Will Opal let you open internet? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the bottom of do du- yeah. The bottom of van shoes have the Star of David on them. Okay, but why? Did the, do does it say why? anti-semitic or are they Jewish? or what if they're yeah so look that's the top oh but then right there those are all jewish stars oh like oh, wow. it's like a waffle whose side are you on this is, <laughs> what a, do you mean? this is a debate yeah this adidas was like a guy named adolf adidas i know no it stands for it, all day i dream about sports no but that was his n- sex all day I dream about sex no it's <laughs> Okay, sixth grader. Adidas, His all name day was I Adolf. Dream about sports or soccer? That's the b- big debate. But that's what I've it never heard for. this yeah, in my life. In air, you should have watched it. First of all, it's Adidas, not uh, Adidas. There, Adidas. It's is, German. Yeah, it's how, that's I know. How we're in America. Get get with the program. It's Adidas. Oh, I say Adidas. No, you don't. Oh my. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you actually, don't. Right? <laughs> He's like in Foot Locker. Get me Adidas. I think over the Adidas. past. I think over the past. Three or four years, I say Adidas more than Adidas. Really? Yeah. Matt, don't be that. No, it's Adidas. That's you're Adidas. Just, you're being a pick me girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are being a pick me girl. <laughs> That's are we very giving funny. advice today? We sure, are. We can. Yes. I wow, mean, we could we... just keep chatting. Well, now it's awkward. Now what are we talking <laughs> about? I picked up my phone, then I put okay, it down. Okay, we'll <laughs> I know. Like, um, let's, let's just. Yeah, hold on. Let's give some advice. Okay, Does anyone have advice. any um, predicaments here that we can talk through? Oh. Or should we just get right into it? Any Ooh. problems? Any problems? Mm. No? Good. <laughs> How was your engagement party? Oh, oh in yeah. Dallas? Yeah. It was really, really nice. It was Cute. a great time. Um, but it's, the, and I'm already mentally preparing myself for the day of like your wedding. It's like it's like exhausting talking to people. Like I felt oh. like I didn't even like people would come in and I was so excited to see them, but then oh my gosh, I got to see this person. I it's like doing a meet and greet. Did yeah. you take a little Adderall well, that's before? why it's good that you're doing the um like little welcome thing. Oh yeah, yeah. you can get that all out of the way. Yes, I think so. What's it called? The hoedown or something? You have a name for a it? Post toast. Oh a yeah, post toast. Yeah. Even though it's pre. Also, did you fucking play? The shoe game oh, that yeah. we fucking cringed yes. about. We did. Dude, was that real? <laughs> yes. <laughs> After Aaron brother, like we did it. a whole episode about how that is the cringiest fucking thing of all Buddy, time. I know. Who's more likely to leave dishes in the sink? <laughs> oh, it's Guys, me. They also did that at the wedding I just went to. No. Are you serious? At the, at the wedding? At the reception. At the reception. At the reception. the wedding. That's no yeah. Wedding. Oh, yeah. Well, not during the ceremony, no, but yeah. Why are people doing that? <laughs> I think it's like. I feel like it's millennial humor. Like they just think it's like so funny, and I don't know. Well, I, like my, honestly, it was cute. What were like, some the of the questions? Very cute. Um, my brother curated them, so like we got a lot of like. Well, obviously, doesn't listen to the podcast. The <laughs> no, my brother <laughs> like w- went through it, and he made sure that none of them were that stupid. <laughs> Whose idea was it? That long. <laughs> my the hosts, so the hosts, the people who were paying for the party. Your parents? No, the hosts are like your parents' family friends who want to do it. That's so they, usually you, oh my gosh. you didn't say, "Hey guys, I have a great idea." No, they said, <laughs> get your shoes off. <laughs> no, they said that they really wanted to play it. And we said, no, thank you. And then they were really bummed. And my mom was like, the host really wanted you to play that game. And I'm like, and then Patricia goes, I feel bad 
I feel like we should do it Aww. because it seems like something they really yeah. want us to do. So yeah. we said, sure, why not? It, we, it was probably we played it for like five or six minutes. What were some of the things? Oh, who? I don't know. Who's the better cook? Who's more clean? Who's most likely to do? It's, were you guys it's, just people cackling? Going like, oh, we were, oh, no, we were cackling. right. We were right every time. <laughs> oh, wow. Like Patricia oh. and I were. Yeah. Perf- now you can get married. Now you're allowed. Yeah, now you're fine. <laughs> The rite of passage has that been done. So funny. Oh God! Yeah, pretty much. So I know wow. we played it. A lot of people were like getting a big kick out of that. Oh, we yeah. actually played it, but yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Okay. Cute. Should we do it on this? Yeah. The four of us turn <laughs> Absolutely around. Absolutely not. All four shoot. We all close our eyes, but don't know who's. <laughs> um, okay, let's do some advice. Okay. <clears throat> Y'all also, sent us. Sorry. Hmm. No, Great go. job on the Instagram. Who's posting those? I was. Where people were giving suggestions for episodes you've already done. Yeah. And then you linked I to the episode. I wanted to do that to Matt because he suggested. I was like, any ideas? And then you oh. said two that we've literally already done. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what? Uh, you said I think vacations. and vacations. We've done vacations. Yeah. yeah. And myths. And it was like a travel. Urban myths. Really? Yeah. Sorry. It's I think okay. I just went We've and looked at so successful it's... episodes and I was like, what's our topics that are like yeah. those? Yeah. But it was nice because I feel like it's interesting to see also who's like maybe a new listener. Yeah. And it's like, oh, we already did it. Go take a gander. We yeah. have like almost 50 episodes at this point. So not everyone's maybe seen every single yeah. one. And there's so much content all the time that, yeah, that was a nice, great social media work yeah thank you i know you responded but i because i get the notifications too but i thought it was to me and you were like great this is awesome and i was like what's he responding to that i posted <laughs> <laughs> okay well let's get right into All it right. you guys emailed us your <clears throat> problems yes at good influences podcast at gmail.com so and like mike said we normally put the prompts over on our instagram at good influences pod Mm-hmm. question mark <laughs> you'll find it <laughs> you'll find it just t- start typing it in yeah okay basically long story short my best friend since kindergarten i'm 22 now stopped being friends with me about six or so months ago because when my mom was diagnosed with cancer she got mad at me for being distant and told me i was being a bad friend because of it i was really going through it mentally and she never once asked me how i was doing let alone how my mom was doing either The definitive end of the friendship was when I prioritized my mom visiting me and spending time with her instead of traveling home for my friend's graduation party. She essentially ghosted my text telling her I was sorry I couldn't make it, but it was but I was looking forward to celebrating the next time I was home until I was home until I emphasized the message. And there was this dead end argument that ended in never speaking to each other again. Anyway, I'm graduating college in a couple of weeks and moving back home. She seems to be slowly reaching out, liking Instagram photos, talking to our friends as graduation approaches. And I'm worried she's going to reach out to me once I'm home. I could really use some advice on how to go about this because I honestly have no idea what to even say to her. I'm not looking to be friends again, but I do want some clarity and closure because I genuinely don't understand her thought process throughout our whole falling out. Thanks in advance. And sorry, this was kind of long. My mom's doing well, by the way. Oh, that's Good. great. Love to hear that. Well, her friend sounds like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Poorly raised. <laughs> Poorly raised. <laughs> Where were you raised? What is that? What is that from? Vanderbump Rules. Oh, is it James? No. Oh. All the girls were saying it to Raquel the last episode. Do you even watch? <laughs> yes, of course. It's so unreasonable. Do you even watch? I know. Like, I don't remember the lines. Oh, that's really funny. It, well, it was like a, a big plot point. They kept saying Also, it, it sounds like this girl was in high school for this because if she's talking about a graduation and now she's graduating college, that all this happened in high school, if I'm hearing the timing right. So she, she's 22, right? She's, oh, oh God. She's 22. So yeah, so then this friend. I think college graduation. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's moving home from college. But didn't she say she was upset that she didn't fly out for a graduation party? I think college graduation. Oh, gotcha. I think she just was saying, like, we've been friends since kindergarten, but I'm 22 oh, years old now. I mean, this girl just fucking sucks. Yeah. I, yeah, this girl does <laughs> suck. <If> I, <laughs> T- I like, think, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, I, I kind of just want to play this angle from, like, mm. these types of people. Wait, what are you talking about? Nothing. Go. No. I, 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 what really pisses me off is when people have this perspective that their friends that owe them something that they need to check in with them more often like people who are like 
no, I don't really like that person anymore because they're so involved with themselves. They never reach out to me to see how I'm doing. This is like what her friend's doing. Her friend, her yeah. Her friend is busy with her mom yeah. having cancer. Yes. Yeah. Like you'd Sorry. think you'd be a little understandable. Yeah. Yeah. People, do, if there is a friendship that you want to keep alive, you go and check in on that. The friend. phone works both ways. Yeah. You don't. T the world. People are not. Um. Do not owe you anything. Like, yes. Anything. Yes. If you want to keep a friendship till alive, that's your place for you to go water that plant and keep that growing. Yes. But like to hate friends because they are busy with their own lives, especially their mom dying cancer. Screw you. You need to get over that and have a lot of growth on that. End. Show this clip right? to this friend. Yeah, that's how you can so deal with that situation. Because I mean, I wouldn't even call her a friend at this point. Yeah, this I would be like, I am. A grown i graduated but i do understand the like wanting closure of it all i'd be like oh yeah were you okay then like why did you act this way like yeah. what were you going through that you felt it necessary to then like take out on me whatever the fuck was going on in your life i think some people are also just completely narcissists oblivious, yeah like, and just have no clue that other people are living their own lives and dealing with things and have feelings like object permanence like okay yeah. when this friend's not in front of me they don't exist and like <laughs> oh now you're here cool yeah and this person just sounds like they couldn't even understand the fact that this that the person who wrote in has her own life and her own problems and her own things to deal with. And I, there's I don't know if you're ever going to get closure from someone who treated you poorly. And yeah, I'm not a big uh, I'm not like a big believer in like holding grudges, though. It already does Love sound it, like that you don't want to continue to be friends with them, which All is smart power to you. Yeah. Even though it sounds like she's coming back around. She's been trying to interact with you guys and maintain a sense of friendship, um, you, which you can still do. You can just have other whole boundaries, even though you said that this is a friend that you've had since kindergarten and sometimes it may get a little awkward if suddenly she's not getting invited to all the little brunches and get togethers that you have with your friends <laughs> That's what girls do. because you're mad about <laughs> her and during a rough time in your life who knows i do believe that some people do grow and realize that they were self-absorbed yeah. in certain moments of their life um but you can't have boundaries as an adult they don't need to be your friend all the time but you can still get together with them and maintain the group and have a little bit of civility I just get find a little bit more peace with having that approach because sometimes I feel like when you don't include people, even though that's what you want, sometimes that creates such a statement and it can create more drama and mm. more tension within your friend group and that can get out of hand. So just understand there are consequences to it and know what you're kind of cooking up. And maybe you can just be like, Ugh, I didn't like you during that chapter, but we can be fine just to get together now and then. Yeah. But that's just my thoughts. Yeah, yeah, I would say it's fine to set a boundary and not just not be friends with a person. Yeah. Even for the sake of like what'll make things easier. Yeah. This is something like you would do. <laughs> what? I'm just, he like, always he'll just say that. Like, you really remind me of that like Scientology guy or something. Like <laughs> it's a bit. Yeah. Um and who knows? Cool. What if your mom who's like beat cancer is like, where's Sarah Beth? I really <laughs> like her. Well, it sucks that, like, she's been her friend for so long. And, like, obviously, I'm sure she was part of, like, the mom's life, too. Yeah. And to, like, not have any support there. Like, that's it's really so bizarre. But if it's your very that's a bad friend. Either that other girl, the friend, either she had, like, an even worse situation at home. Yes. And doesn't have, like, the capacity to understand. Or she's just, like, a spoiled brat. Yeah. And sucks. That's why I'm like, maybe have a conversation. Because, like, yeah. maybe she was going through something yeah. that you didn't realize. Not saying that that would be make what she did to you okay but like maybe you could get some closure there yeah yeah and be like oh yeah. i didn't realize that that had happened to you yeah mm -hmm. especially like you're still so young i feel like young people have such a hard time communicating with one another oh, yeah and like for sure it's like such a big part of life where it's changing too mm -hmm. at that the age. quality of your <clears throat> communication determines the quality of your life Ooh, mm. is that from okay sensei is that from his tiktok cc <laughs> Yeah, but no, you, that's have, a... you can't touch your mouth to it. All, Why? My, my lip gloss is all This is going to be Oh, here we go. A challenge. Wait, Carly, can I sip? No. no. It's, a, it's a Tony Robbins quote. I don't like... <laughs> Drum roll, please. I think it's too high. It's a little too high. It's you got to go teeth. a little lower. If it's lower, it's going to fall No, no, he, he, he can do it. He got it. He's, he knows the physics, I guess. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that gullet. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Refreshing? Fresh plastic? It's like Fresh you're trying plastic to juice. I can't believe down. you just drank out of a... 
Nalgene bottle. I feel like a kid. Or I feel like a kid. Like summer camp. You just want to like savor the water. Like, <laughs> you're thirsty all day. And oh, and then water tastes sip, so you know, good. You I saw a it. funny meme that was like, "Oh, you're gonna drink by the water fountain. You're gonna stick your little booty out. You're gonna close your eyes and pucker your lips, <laughs> and then you're gonna stand up and probably choke on it." <laughs> oh. That's how you drink out of a water fountain. You gotta yeah, stick your booty out. You close your eyes. Yeah, you do close. Your <laughs> eyes. It's so awkward when they have the double one, and then there's like two people at a time. Oh, yeah. and you're like, like what, do do? what do I do? What do I do? You ever see the kid who like puts their whole mouth on it, uh, like, uh, and like they put their cheek on the white thing and just like, oh, ew, <laughs> yes, that uh, is that is heinous activities. Memories of a straight kid to jail. Doing that, lock them I up. Could, I even know the person's name who did it. <clears throat> Spill it. I don't want to. I feel like she would find out. <laughs> She's like, I'm um, so embarrassed. Okay. I just moved 12 hours away from everyone I know to go to grad school last August. There are less than 10 of us in the program, and they are literally the only people I know in the state. The coursework is pretty intense, and I don't have much time to go out and try to meet new people. And when I, ha when I have, I haven't been super successful. I'm the youngest in the program, and everyone else except one person moved in with their husband slash wife slash significant other. This one person is the only one that I can count on to hang out outside of class, but their values don't really align with mine, and I often feel a little guilty Excuse me, about associating with them. I'm talking like complete opposite sides of the political spectrum with the other person leaning towards the right, sexist, racist, homophobic, even though they are gay themselves. They now whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> what do you mean, what? It's like it's homophobic like gay people? Yeah, yes. it's like Candace Owens. It's like Milo yeah. Yanniopoulos. Oh, oh. Yeah. you know what I mean? Okay, so in crazy people. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, They know how I feel and we have conversations about it, but they aren't really interested in changing their views. I feel like a shitty friend for thinking badly about them behind their back, but also feel like a shitty person for being so close with someone who I know doesn't agree with pretty much anything I believe in on a fundamental level. I'm torn because they are literally the only social contact I get with others, and I think I'd go crazy if I didn't have that. I'm feeling selfish, but don't really know what to do about the situation and or how to tact tactfully navigate it. Advice. Have them talk to Mike Shepard. He's yeah. really good at <laughs> get, get, Let's get on a three-way FaceTime. <laughs> we'll talk. Where are, well, they, I know. I wish I, I knew where they I were. I just wish I knew where I you think, were. I feel like this kind of person would benefit from going to, like, volunteer somewhere, like, at a dog shelter or at, like, a youth group. And, like, a lot of people I know that are pretty cool that, like, you'd want to meet, they do volunteer work at places. And yeah. I think a lot of good people work at volunteer stuff. They just said, though, that they don't really have much free time. And I think that's what's. But if they're hanging out with this thing. fucking homophobic gay person, <laughs> they have time to go <laughs> once a week true. to the dog shelter and help with Very an true. Or like, you know, a, a blood drive or something. Just like there's always yeah. people that need. I feel like anything would be better than hanging out with this person. I would have I would have a good time with it. That would sound that sounds like a fun challenge. But join the. Your yeah, but you face... also have like a life. <laughs> your town's Facebook group. Yeah, there's so many Facebook groups where you can actually go meet so many different people in uh, your area. Like Facebook I, it's groups, giving Craig dude, Facebook, no, Facebook <laughs> groups are pretty insane. I'm I'm part of like a few from like my hometown because I'm just interested in what's yeah. going on there. But I see so many times of people who go, <clears throat> "I just moved here. I'm this old. I uh, this age. I don't have like any friends. Are there any like fun things or places to go?" And people will give you recommendations and invite you out to stuff. And it's kind of a great safe way because you can also see the people's profile and see who yeah. you're like about to interact okay. with. It's just something that's there and there is a lot of people on. And I've known a lot of people to find like great communities within their communities through Facebook. So mm -hmm. check that out. Yeah. That's yeah, that so sounds, tough. it does sound really what tough. A nightmare. So it's like you don't want to be like all alone. It's yeah. Like you want to be social. I've also know people that have met friends on like Bumble BFF, yeah. which like. I, I get if you move to a new city and it's tough. Right. I've heard some success stories from that. I doubt there's like a bunch of people in um, wherever the FF in Joplin, Missouri. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I wonder are. where the, she or they yeah, are. That's such a weird segment of time to say I moved 12 hours away. Like, what does that mean? From like everyone like, she driving, they know. right? But like, or like, where, where's 12 hours away from us? <laughs> like the Middle Earth. It's like yeah. it's like Dallas to Indianapolis. I know, but like I guess I've just never been. In a place, I've never lived somewhere where something is either fly or you drive, but flying is either, you know, three, four, five hours or driving is like three. Yeah, maybe hours. They, I think they mean drive probably. Yeah. But like 12 hours is such a weird. 
In such a small program, gosh, yeah. what a tough situation. Yeah, I there's say, options. Yeah, yeah, maybe try the Facebook thing. That sounds. Or find like a good swingers club to join. <laughs> or go hang out with the undergrads. Is it grad school? <laughs> yeah, they, sh- they said that there's only ten people in the program, and everyone Damn. else is like married. And she's would... the youngest one in the program, so maybe yeah, yeah she can go to like some uh, senior parties. Yeah. Some senior parties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hang out with the or youngins. Volunteer your local Democrats, uh, whatever, and meet some <laughs> like-minded folks. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Join the, join the Democratic Socialist Movement. <laughs> For real. Okay. This one's kind of like the same situation, but a little different. So I'm female, 25, and my boyfriend is 24 male. We are high school sweethearts, and when we started dating, me and his family were very close. But now everything changed, most of it because me and my boyfriend changed. We no longer think like we used to. His family are very traditional um, but in a bad way. <laughs> Sorry, just a funny sentence. In a bad way, homophobic. Oh, oh my God. And think that the woman belongs in the kitchen, which, you know, <gasps> they do. They do. They do. <laughs> uh, no, I don't, but it's very hard because they think I'm making my boyfriend choose sides because, and I quote them, he used to be one of them. What does that even mean? A bad person? Any advice in how to deal with this, deal with these people? I truly love my boyfriend and I know family is a big part of his life, but how am I supposed to be at Christmas Eve with them when I want to scream at the top of my lungs in all caps? No, I don't have to make dinner. Thank you. (laughs) Oh, God. I feel like the boyfriend needs to figure that out. I know they've been together for so long. Yeah. That's a that's a high middle school man. sweethearts to be twenty five and people change obviously. You marry the person you don't marry. Yeah, the family. like if you, I don't, I think that's half true. Well, I think you absolutely do. If they're going every week for like Friday night dinner sure. versus like Christmas once a year, yeah, that's like it's like think about it like a job. You know, you just got to go and do the job. I feel like they're probably close. Yeah, I mean, it's you just gotta and I f- set your boundaries and be like, look, that you can have your opinion, I have mine, and. I think the biggest issue is if the boyfriend is taking sides. Yeah. That's probably where the, the yeah. issues will come from. If he's like, well, maybe try pick up a spatula. <laughs> <laughs> then well, you're not wrong. Or maybe dump him. Just call it off. Just call it off. Yeah, no, I feel like that would be so hard, especially if it, See, I feel like it's such a tough place for the boyfriend, too. Yeah. Because he said, I used to be one of them. So, like, he used he to be He obviously doesn't think that. <laughs> yeah. A Republican. Yeah. yeah. And now is like, yeah. understanding that we're living in 2023 and whatever and yeah i'm sure this is like so common too because yeah. like there's so many so much has happened and in culture, the last yeah, moves really five fast. six years she should invite her like gay friends over for like dinner <laughs> honestly that is and i think like the proven way them. give them a mess heads up them. say what they say what they're getting into and your gay friends will be like oh yeah for sure let's go in and and mess with these people. I don't know. I, I don't know that, like, them. Yeah. Make them become, like, regulars over. I don't know. Just make it a social experiment. No, I do think that that's, like, a, a proven way to, like, get people over their biases is you just bring them around they them. think that they don't like. Just Unless put them it's in their... religious yeah. reasons. Most of the time, that's not. Like a Christian doesn't like a Muslim or something? Well, like a Christian. Or a some, person. some Christians will be like, like, I like you as a person, but I don't agree. I don't support you. You're going to go to hell. Even yeah. if they're, like, nice spending time people. with the family yeah. and yeah. hanging out. Oh, yeah, well, people that. do that to, like, their children. Mm-hmm. They're like, okay, I don't agree with your decisions, but, like, you're wow. still my kid. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes they just, like, exile them. them off. Yeah. God, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, because they're like, you're That's why I think it's, like, harder than, mm. than we think. I have been dating my boyfriend for two years and I am in a predicament. He's in law school and I work full time. It has been getting hard because he says he can't afford to do anything, but I don't think it's very fair to me to be the breadwinner of the relationship and I'm getting kind of fed up with it. What would your advice in this situation be? Because your girl needs some major help. I think I need more context. Yeah, how much money you want to spend? What do you want to do? Are you want to go to Disneyland? Or are you just wanting to go to like, like yeah, just bowl? Italy <laughs> to go bowling? Oh. Well, it's like he's also in law school. Yeah. I mean, he's like doing his thing. I don't know. Just think he'll be making you lots of money later, yeah. maybe. Yeah, unless he's just riding the sugar mama coattails yeah. while he's struggling, and then once he gets his law degree, yeah, up- pieces out, upgrades to the new one. 
<laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> Shit. Just start, if you're getting cheap, just start selling stuff out of your house. I don't know. You got plenty <laughs> get the, of get junk rid of the around. trinkets. Get, get rid of all the trinkets and then use that money and go do it. Go, go, go garage sailing. Go garage sailing. <laughs> go flipping. I don't know. I'm a big minimalist. If there's something around in your house that you're not using, go sell it and use that money and go treat yourself and benefit your yeah. relationship. I saw a good thing that said if you should money. touch every single thing that is in your house. Because that's how like junk and stuff accumulates is that you don't you don't ever touch it. Yep. Like you open a drawer and you physically touch every single thing. And if you don't need it, put it in like either a throwaway, sell or keep. Hey, I've been having this tough issue where I've been debating about selling my Nintendo Switch because I really don't play with it that much. But then I heard like, oh, you got to keep your video game systems. Like according to who? Yeah. What do you mean? You got it. It's not the law. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know. But then someone was like, that's just such an iconic piece of technology. Why? And you you no definitely don't sell your switch. No one ever. I, I want to get the OLED one. I don't know. Never heard of like, that. If you're going to get a new one, get it. But, but I just, I've heard because like technology, I always think like you should sell because no, the, but like the value I have a, of technology always goes down. But like we bought time. a PlayStation two during quarantine off eBay and it's, unbelievably fun to play okay. also think about if you never sold all your little tvs that play vhs and you wouldn't have had to buy a new yeah. one have one <laughs> all of them it, oh, every single day. one of them dude i kind of want to get like a big fucking screen vhs player like one of the like huge well, tvs they, that have they like they the back curving. i know and, they, like and they also they want they're like curve. five feet deep yeah yeah yes. but like because i just i have i'm getting like some good movies and i want to be able to watch them like that would be so funny to have like outside by your pool yeah. Oh, yeah, like a big screen. Like I have the Wizard of Oz and I watched it on like an eight inch <laughs> TV and I'm like, I would love to see this. Are you on... really sitting down and watching the movies? Yeah. Oh, I don't. Do I watched the Wizard of Oz. What? You don't I even watch them? I use it as like, like uh, background uh, for like ambient purposes. I think it's always oh. nice to have this like moving picture in the room. Like, I do that sometimes, too. But like I was like, I haven't seen the Wizard of Oz since I was a kid. Put it on. And it's like a little eight inch. I'm like, oh, I would love to. You guys should get into the VHS scene like with us. <laughs> would you want to? Do you think TJ or Nolan would be uh, into it? Nolan probably would be more inclined to. He got into like DVDs very recently. DVDs. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Down the right track. Maybe we had a. Yeah. You, but the thing VHS is, like, we have nowhere to watch a VHS. If well, you gotta get you know a wire. I mean? You get a compact well, one yeah. and you like put it like, like on your, your kitchen, kitchen counter. Yeah. I'd rather just like buy a Prada bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's so cheap. The VHS cool. world, you can get them for like $3 a tape. Yeah, but that adds up. To a Prada bag. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Hundreds I'll of thousands. I'll give you some of my VHSs. I don't uh, My want collection's them. getting too big. I just like don't. too much clutter right yeah, now. Yeah, I just like don't you want. You wouldn't love like in your kitchen, just like you walk in and TJ's put on You like, think a... I want a TV on my kitchen counter? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was raised with one on my kitchen counter. It's because you were so rich. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> I wish that they, the antennas worked where you can get the old channels, but they stopped it in oh, 2009. Oh, that'd be wild. We should go stop at Radio oh. Shack. <laughs> Do those still shot. exist? They got away out of business, brother. Oh, damn it. <laughs> My dad bought, when I was little, he bought one of those giant TVs with like the VA, like big ass TV that's like super yeah, deep and so, everything. Like this is insane that the TV is this thin. Like flat. Yeah. And the, like it would need to be out to here to be this size. And he was, it was in his pickup truck, like in the bed of the truck. And I don't know what happened, but he was pulling into the garage and it fell out <gasps> of the truck and broke. <laughs> he had to go back. I don't know what happened, but. I think they just exchanged it. But... How much do you think they are now? I looked it up on eBay. They're not that expensive. Like a couple hundred uh, well, bucks. Well, the reason why actually they become expensive, but the bigger ones are actually cheaper because video game aficionados like <laughs> who play GameCube and those older video Oh my video God, like ga Mario Kart on those screens. Yeah. So fine. And those, so nostalgic. Like the, if you plug in an, a GameCube into like a flat screen TV, right, it looks like shit. Because it's not like rendering yeah, properly. Yeah. So a lot of and they have like tournaments and stuff. And a lot of people will buy CRT TVs so that they can play their old video games. So that's why the prices this are high. Dream one. Doesn't that look so cool? Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> Aaron, that it's was the one I want to buy. <laughs> Force. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's very no, you. It's good. It's like 80s looking. I like the, the whole aesthetic is that for sale? of the room. Night, you can buy them for like five bucks. Nice it's this like is. 19. It's 1980. Like two, five. Like yeah. it's older than us. I don't That's want that so many cool. VHSs. I know. I almost bought one the other day, but I'm just so worried about like... How much about, is it? Like, 500 bucks. Oh. How much is a Prada bag? Thousands. <laughs> Double that. <laughs> a so thousand you bucks. Each of us one. You still buy or Prada? Or one Prada bag. I thought Prada's out. No, Prada's never <laughs> out, baby. 
<laughs> Not for me. It's all about Bulgari now, right? The time where we did go to Kourtney Kardashian's <laughs> house, we had our Prada bag. She was like, that was my first designer bag. And I was like, same. Wasn't was like, there a thing about uh, some They don't even make mine anymore. Was... <gasps> oh my God. I'm not going to be able to explain this. What? Some, some famous girl was like, and my mom only didn't let me get my first designer bag until I was in high school. And she was like crying <laughs> about it. Oh, yeah. And it was like a thing on the oh, internet. Oh, Bella Hadid said that. Or Is Gigi that who Hadid it was? Said oh, that. yes. I kind of vaguely remember oh, that. Yolanda, was, like, tra- keeping them so humble. Yeah. yeah like, just so, this was really <laughs> like, traumatic. Yeah. I didn't even know what a designer bag was in high school. I, I still think. don't know. What does it mean? Oh, what is I designer? Did, I know. Designer is just like high end Prada, Chanel, Coach. So, like, brand name? YSL. Not TJ Maxx? No. Yeah, not TJ Maxx. You guys aren't Max Anistas? I mean, I would go and try to find something I like there for sure, but it's not designer by any means. I'm also like not a big designer. I don't have a lot of designer. I, I a just love Prada. I know me too. I want to go to the store. I just think I keep looking were... on Railed. I'm like harding a bunch well, of. Well, we have time after <laughs> this. Can you just go to the Prada store and buy them? Yeah. Yeah. Just like any other retailer. Uh, but some things are like, like Hermes. They won't sell you a bag, right? I have no They'll idea. They'll sell me one. They reached out. Oh, really? <laughs> no. <laughs> no I think those are so ugly. Yeah, Hermes they... is like you can't buy them. Like they like you need to spend money at the Hermes store buying other products and then like Hermes or Birkin. Is that what Hermes? I'm thinking of? <laughs> I think they make a Birkin. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, they're like impossible to get unless you spend like fifty Hermes. grand there. <laughs> Hermes, Hermes back. <laughs> and like people will just like people will have just the boxes. I'm here for Hermes. I think they're so ugly. I don't like a Birkin. Hmm. Prada maybe, is so so like a cute. maybe when I'm like 60. Do you know what a Merkin is? <laughs> yeah, the pubic wig. Yeah, of course. You I'm actually selling one of my Prada bags on Grailed, but no one's biting it. Which one? The pink one. Oh, sad. I'm just like not don't a fan. Use it that much? Like, I just don't ever use it. Yeah. So. But... Except, I think it's kind of fun you guys have purses. I don't want like purses as like a guy but i think purses i think are like such a fun world that like women have. they really are and i never really cared about them, them too it blows my mind how yeah but they are. it's not i know but it's not as much of a statement men are the, not that excited about other men's bags and stuff not really right? yeah girls are like that's why it's so fun being a girl it's like ooh, where's your bag from it's so cute yeah. i love your skirt mm-hmm. men are just like i i girl. <laughs> ralph's plastic VHS bag and prada t- serve the same function like Let's, it's insane wait, what'd you of say? course a ralph's bag and a prada bag it's like the one it's like a no, one object 100 percent. but it's like the, the fun, fun of, of it all, all. yeah i know i get it but it's one of those things that like there is actually no functional like a tv if you spend a thousand dollars on a tv or twenty dollars on a tv like there's an actual difference and you know many things have the difference is your happiness <laughs> And if you buy like a Prada bag, it's gonna last way longer than a bag I got from like, Target or something. I get, I know it'll last. You're talking about Ralph's bag, like a tote. What are no, you talking about? Like he's talking about bag. when like, Matt called him homeless because he had yeah. the Ralph's bag. Yeah. <laughs> like if you hold a bag, is something to hold things in. You yeah, but need, us you have girlies, a we like to be aesthetic and we like to have. Like, I understand. I'm just things saying. Look nice. It's such a dichotomy of like an object that is so. Expensive. We gotta go to Prada with Mike. Oh, I would yeah. be, I'd be so upset looking at the prices. Yeah, I know. That's why I want you to go. What's what's like a average price of a Prada bag? Um, I would say like at least two thousand. Like average, like twenty. You're gonna pay like twenty one hundred dollars. Yeah. Makes sense. I feel like yeah. Was mine that the first one we got? I think it was over two thousand. I, I got but a it's Prada a bag. bag that was thirty five hundred dollars. Is that the bejeweled one? Uh-huh. I mean, it was my like. I get it. It, was, it makes you happy. I get it. It was my like um christmas gift to myself for yeah. for my business and like she doesn't even know what's missing really she probably makes one of only fans it's like oh no. 3500 <laughs> no but like it's just like a fun thing and it's, it's flashy like, too guys, it's check really out our cool. aaron's only fans so she can <laughs> really support her habit yes. here yeah and buy us prada bags too i love prada do you bags do that how often do you do it buy a prada bag no your only fans what do you mean is it like always ongoing <laughs> is it like a new pick every week or month? Yeah, there's like, different things on there. It's not like just one thing. You know okay. what I mean? There's like you messages. You don't like and... advertise it on. I guess I just I don't never talk hear about, about it anywhere. It. You don't talk about it anywhere? like on podcast, like when we're just talking in conversation. But like I never post about Are it. Are you gonna take just... us to the Bahamas? Like Corinna takes everyone to the Bahamas. <laughs> Please. I fucking wish. <laughs> I can't even take myself to the bottom. Show your butt hole. Way. Aaron, no. I'll put my toe in your hole. And oh. then we, I'll get a little cut and then we can take toe it. Toe in the, the hole. Yeah. I don't like oh. that sentence at all. Is TJ on it? 
toe in the hole. What do you hole. mean is he on it? Like they're not having sex on OnlyFans. I don't know. No, I don't post like having sex on OnlyFans. Oh, okay. It's very just like tasteful. Tasteful nudes. Yeah. Okay. The funniest. Full nudes. The funniest are, two sentences. Are they like funny? <laughs> no. Are you like this? <laughs> it's the, I'm so goofy. Look at my tits. The braces Snapchat filter. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Do you remember that, Matt? Uh... I don't think he wasn't there. Dang, Aaron, we were at VidCon. Do you subscribe to others? No, it was on our kitchen table. Aaron was like naked on our kitchen table for some reason. And we thought oh, it was so funny because on Snapchat, there's a filter where it makes your head really big with, and you have like braces and headgear. Oh, and no. so she's just <laughs> naked <laughs> braces and headgear. It just looks so it's funny. It's so funny. But, but then we did another one at VidCon with the same filter. I was just like, in bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like you definitely have that I one I somewhere. Find it. It's I can show so you that one. Funny. <laughs> Do you look at others for inspo? Um, yeah. I'm definitely like subscribed to people, but not really. Like, how many different things can you really do? It's tough. Is it's it, getting tough. It's not an app, right? No, just a you website. You just the website. They don't have an app. If you subscribe no. to different people Sounds on like it, a big I'm so, I, if you subscribe to different people, is your feed all the people you're paying for? Do you want to see? Kinda. Not Can right I? now. Let's do it after. Let's do it after. Lunch time. Okay, I can show you at lunch. But yeah, that, it's like a okay. feed. Imagine it's just like tough to come up with new ideas all the time. It it's can. Like, what can you do? Yeah. But I feel like it's just like people are there. It, it's, I feel like much easier to please people than you would think it would be. Mm. Like I could literally just like post a picture in this tank top and my nipples are hard and they're like, wow. <laughs> wow. wow! But like in a good way, it's like okay, they're like getting what they need. Yeah, yeah. From yeah. It. yeah. And... Are you thinking about them like often? <laughs> like, <laughs> every day. My only fans all day, every day. When every you're day. picking up your Prada bag. <laughs> Thank Thanks. Nips. No, I want to do like a special that's like Prada Prada birthday fund. She ha don't you have a thing that's like buy oh, me yeah. a Prada bag? Wait, you can put like little tears on it to be like, just give me more money for this thing I want. Yeah. God, America's the best country in the world. <laughs> it really is. Good for you guys. Well, now we're like running out of time. I want to do like the best ones. Damn, that flew by. I know. Should we do part two? <laughs> we can do part two. I'm hungry. No, I would rather do no, the other okay. one. Yeah, you stupid bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. This is interesting. My head. This is interesting. <laughs> Me in my head. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> so this is the situation. I don't know if this could be considered an am I the asshole, but I do need help Ooh. deciding how to move forward. Basically, I have a roommate who is a pretty big pothead. She smokes at least five times Bye. a day, if not more. There's four of us in the house, myself, my fiance, friend, and this roommate. Oof. Oh, I actually don't know if this is a boy or a girl. No one else smokes. Oh, it is her, but her. It is in our lease that we cannot smoke on the property, but we don't say anything because she doesn't do it in the actual house. This is where my problem comes in, though. There have been multiple times where her weed is left out in the kitchen or downstairs in general, so we've asked her many times to be very careful about keeping it locked up as we have two dogs in the house. Well, that didn't happen because one night recently, our puppy became <gasps> sick, and after taking her to the emergency vet in the middle of the night, we were told she had marijuana poisoning. Oh, God. The roommate didn't apologize and actually denied oh, that it could be from her weed until we sent her a picture of the test that showed it really was. Luckily, our puppy was okay, but not after we spent $800 Damn. on treatment. Basically, I need advice because some people are telling me I should have her pay the, the bill or at least half of it because after all, she wasn't smoking on the property and if she was careful with her product like we've asked, this wouldn't have happened and I wouldn't have to have spend $800. What do you think? She's got to go. Because I, I know just kick her out. Yeah, yeah. she's got to go. Kick her to the curb. Definitely ask for the 800 bucks in full. That's insane. Yeah. Don't leave fucking weed out. There's a dog That's around. Scary. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Especially it, when you've been asked multiple area, times. Sure. You it's out crazy your how many the chicks door? refusing, though, to like not do it. She's a fucking pothead. She's not using her full Maybe brain. Maybe she have the courtesy <laughs> to be like, I'll smoke in the devil's that, lettuce. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> melting her brain. Poor baby puppy. I know. They're probably so high. <laughs> I know. I've seen Luckily videos. That, like, did, that are, like, my dog did that. Oh, shit. Ate no, weed? Yeah, my, my parents' dog. Who's weed? My parents. <laughs> Your parents smoke weed? <laughs> yeah, my yeah. dad does. <laughs> wow. When yeah, Nolan, they're cool. They're like not like most parents. <laughs> Nolan was visiting LA once and he had like chocolate mushrooms, but they were like in a bag, in another bag, yep. in another bag, in his backpack. And the people he was staying with had a roommate and she just left and was like, can you guys take care of my dog for two days? Like it was a horrible thing. And they're like, okay, I guess. And somehow the dog got into his room they find a way into the bag into the other bag ripped it open and ate 
all of the chocolate mushrooms. Oh my! And in that situation, <laughs> and it's the like, dog well, that's speaking English. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, I think I'm sick. <laughs> Too no. much chocolate. Dogs are so funny. Yeah, yeah. my dog did the, like he ate it off of the counter. Oh, okay. Yeah, but and then he, obviously he felt horrible. But it's like, yeah. But like I had it all wrapped up, and this girl just left. Yes. Yeah. Um, the dog was fine. But. I think she needs to pay, and then she 100%. needs to pay the price and leave. And I would also take all of her weed and fucking throw it out. Flush it down the toilet. Oh, yeah. Damn. Fuck this <gasps> no, make it make a statement. Yeah. Get messy. Well, especially because they've talked to her about it before. <laughs> yes. If this had never been a it was conversation, like a one it'd be time different. thing, of yeah. course. Yeah, but this is like. They're like, be careful. We have two dogs, not just one, yeah. two. When yeah, did you leave it out sucks. for a puppy to get it, too? Just tell her she's got to move out. Yeah. Bye bye. Boy, boy. I mean, maybe give her one more chance. Let her pay the medical bill. And if she leaves weed out one more time, get her a safe. <laughs> like, keep yeah. the weed in the safe. Just keep it in your <laughs> fucking room. Why? Yeah. It's common areas. Shut the door. Good gravy. It's not that hard. Okay. Isn't it? I've been dating my boyfriend for almost three years and it is going super well. The problem <laughs> must be nice. He's a post <laughs> apostolic. How do I say this word? What is it? Apostolic? Apostolic? Apost uh, apostolic church. Oh, yeah. I think it's apostolic. No, it's apostol apostolic. Apo apostolic. Apostolic. Apocalyptic it, church. It's, yeah, it's like a Jesus Apostles. Okay, I don't Apostles. know. Apostles. Say ap apocalyptic. Apocalyptic, basically. Um, he's a... Say the word? A Apostolistic. Apocalyptic. That's what I said, I thought. Apoc apocalyptic. You said apolistic. Oh. <laughs> or something. Wait. Who fucking knows? Whatever. Anyway, that in itself may not seem like a problem, but he really wants me to subscribe to things that are outlandish and silly to me. Oh, it's gonna... Fuck you. I was <laughs> right. <laughs> apostolic. <laughs> no, wow. you said apostolic. Damn, Aaron's wow. so religious. Wow. Aaron's so smart. <laughs> it's like, wait, Aaron's a nun. Women um, in tech. <laughs> <laughs> Women in STEM. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I just thought like apostles. Isn't no, it's, that's I, mean, why I was it like, I don't right, know how to say it. Yeah. yeah, it probably came from that word. I would assume. Okay. No, let's keep talking about this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> apostolic girls don't cut their hair, no cosmetics, huh? only long dresses, etc. I go to church, but he keeps asking me to get baptized. <laughs> this this church requires sp <laughs> speaking in tongues. Oh no! How do I politely explain? I do not want to swim for his idea of sky daddy. Okay, I would just do it and then start a stand up career and <laughs> just talk about how crazy it was. This is so wild because I'm like, you've been together for three years. Like, did this just start? Yeah, that's. it sounds like something's going on with the guy. Like, he just joined something. Yeah, he's like a little, little culty vibe. They don't yeah. cut their hair. <laughs> There's a lot of religions like that, yeah. I think. Yeah. Huh. Or like wear makeup or like yeah. do, any of that do that. Thing. But like, I, if I after three years, my like, boyfriend. I know. I've only heard about it in that capacity. Yeah. I've never heard of like a women or makeup. Like, that's. Yeah. It's new. Um, I feel like it's because they're like the submissive, like they have to like be. I mean, fresh. I guess do like, if if it means a lot to him for you to be baptized and it doesn't mean anything to you, like maybe just do it, right? Because like if she doesn't believe in it and it'll make him happy, yeah. But I think the bigger can... problem is that he's trying to get her to do all this other stuff. Well, yeah, too. the speaking in tongues, absolutely. I mean, kind of fun. Like you say anything you want. <laughs> Poopy, 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 poopy. Yeah. I think it's like more the whole life. Like, this is why I'm like, has he been trying to get you to do this for like years? Yeah. And like, finally, he's just getting to the point where he's like, no, you really need it to do like it. It sounds like it just happened. Penis, penis, yeah. vagina, vagina, penis, poopy, poopy. People in the church are like, uh, hey, poopy, poopy, poopy. I, I will say TikTok lives of, do you ever get those where it's like in churches and oh, people and are like, like, putting their hands so on people? Oh, my I'm God. Like, I literally, That's probably like, this what's is happening traumatic. here. Yes. These people just got to get out of these small towns. Just I think it's like nice that she's going to the church even though she's not religious yeah but I, I mean feel that's like, fine but honestly get out yeah yeah no that i maybe take him to like uh <laughs> conversion therapy yeah or just like watch convert i don't know <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> clip that <laughs> so like, take him to conversion therapy but it's gonna go along with like something else that would make would, sense yeah. like just like have him watch like the bill maher religious documentary <laughs> that was a good one yeah, I, th I need more tea on this. He he just sounds like he's a little tea. getting pulled in, and he needs a little bit of just like a. Do not watch Bill Maher's religious. <laughs> hey, no, but if this guy's like going into this like world, just to like you know, he's he's going into watch one extreme. Jesus camp instead. That's even more extreme. No, religious is trying to denounce religion altogether. 
Like, right. That's why it's not as pointed at him. Jesus can, camp is trying to like. I think it's going to be too strong of a message. To like expose like evangel- evan- evangelical churches and stuff and like how crazy they corrupt. Like, God, that trailer for Jesus camp scared the shit out of me. Jesus camp. It's too scary. Is it a documentary? Warlocks! Yeah. Harry Potter is the devil. <laughs> oh God! This is war. I want to oh, see Lord. Harry Potter on Broadway. We should do that when we're in New York. <laughs> the Cursed Child. Yes, I've I'm... seen it. Really? Yeah, I was saw it, it in San Francisco. Love. Let's go. Let's go to Broadway when Mike we're in New York. Doesn't even know what Harry Potter is. Yeah, I don't. Her Why moin? do you want to go to Broadway? Her, her <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> what did you say? Her character, Hermione. Her moin? Or her, what is it? Hermione. Oh, that's <laughs> Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's spelled, Hermoin, right? Not me, not <laughs> me, not, not, uh, not Hermoin. Yeah. <laughs> I read it when I was like nine. Not me, not Hemroid. Oh, okay, well, we can. you can pick what we go see. What about the Book of Mormon? I saw it. I didn't like it. Uh, oh, that's I want right, to go see there's this here. magician, David Blaine is producing. He does like a, a oh. very intimate magic show. Oh. But it's like $250 a We've ticket. already had it on Broadway. Magic shows by David no, it's, it's like in a Here. hotel or something. We'll just no, figure out a way York. to write it off. <laughs> yeah, just say you want to become wind. a magician and went to go research. I really want to go see it. Maybe, maybe. Would you want to go do that? I would love is, to do that. We're planning this trip. <laughs> we're going we we on talked a, about it in the group chat. We're going on a vacation together, me and Aaron. <laughs> I'm treating him like Corinna treats everyone else. <laughs> yeah, they're like, taking a private jet to you. <laughs> why can't we do a good influences fake? Because we are doing the podcast while they're gone. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Have you not seen any of this? Just muted the chat. Oh, you guys talk so much at one time, and then when I hop in, I'm not on my phone that much. No, we're kidding. We're kidding. We just are happy. But to you be guys going, can come to New York. We we'll just happen there. to be going to New York yeah. for the same what are weekend. You, where are you going for? Uh, my best friend is having a bridal shower. When are you going to emo night? Is that when it is too? Yeah, you'll be there that weekend. What night is emo night? Saturday mm. night at 11 p.m. It starts. Maybe I'll go. Maybe fly you... in for the day. Fly in for the day. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna. The engagement party is on Saturday, and then another party is on Sunday. A friend's birthday oh, party on Sunday. Okay. Can I come? My husband and I have been married for about three years now, and him and his mother have always been really close. He's the oldest of four kids, and his dad works a lot, so his mom and him have formed a strong bond, which is great. But also, they talk five times a day. But terrible. Not an exaggeration. Once in the morning, once on his way to work, once on his break, once on his way home, and once before he goes to bed. Oh, my God. I've talked to him about it before, and his explanation is that he feels bad because she's home all day by herself and gets lonely. She doesn't have a job. Ever since we got a puppy, she's been calling more often so she can talk to the dog. Oh, my God. It's a freaking dog. I'm worried that it will only get worse once we start having kids. (laughs) How do I set boundaries now and also set expectations for when we have kids? I love that they are close. However, I want to have my own life with my husband and not feel like I'm third wheeling on their relationship. My husband agrees but doesn't know how to tell his mom to back off in fear that she'll take it personally Uh, and get really butthurt. I mean, definitely she will. Well, that's great that he's on board because that's a way more uphill battle to be like, well, it's my mother. I have to speak to her. If uh, TJ was calling his mommy every night before bed, I'd be like... (laughs) Something's wrong with you. One hundred percent. Talk to the mom. Yeah. Talk to the mom. Yeah. If, if you don't have that type of relationship with her, uh, uh, then work on it to get I that would... comfortable and come at it from a place of humor. Just be like, <laughs> I think that it is just so silly and funny how you guys talk all the time. Like, I don't feel like I'm getting enough one-on-one time with my own husband. I know. Guys completely are talking disagree. All the time. I think mother and in- the mother-in-law. And mother-in-laws in general, especially ones that are like boy, yeah, that are moms. Like, it's like real difficult to kind of like pull that. I would say the thread away. You got to do like a fade away jumper, like ghost, <laughs> like slowly ghost her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I don't think I know these are. <laughs> well, no, no. I think if you go in and you're like, hey, ghost the heart. we have Move to away. talk. This is too much. We can't talk every day. She's gonna have a meltdown. She's gonna yeah. scream and cry. But if you don't pick up one call, sorry, my phone's dying. And then the next day you don't pick up another call and like slowly by slowly you just change the schedule over time. She might not be as like, but they and maybe she'll like, call one of the other four kids. I feel like I can hear her being like, my son doesn't love me. He never calls yeah, me. Yeah, it's not going to solve the problem. Yeah. That's just, what they I think the, the only waters. solution here is that you and your husband need to go into witness protection <laughs> and move to Nebraska and be like, yeah. we don't know anybody. Five this is so times tough. a day. That's unhinged behavior. Yeah. It's like pretty unhealthy it seems like he needs to be like mom like why don't you like 
go have lunch with your friends right. or like or do these the things if you're just like you yeah, yeah it's kind of like sad. sitting home alone all day like it is sad yeah just like waiting I to think call you need to come up with a really like catty like mean name for her and like say it's her <laughs> face like oh needy nancy again you gotta call oh, phil my husband three times a day and she's like what you can't call me needy nancy what well, you do <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> you do. You talk to him three times five. a day. Who d- five times a day. That's Good not Lord. normal. Back off. Does, does a- well, you're just being mean. No, I'm being honest, Nancy. Yeah. Like, do you think I'm wrong, Nancy? Oh, well, I don't. I'm gonna. <laughs> Dude, does the husband call the mom, or the mom calls the husband? It's probably it's a like two-way been, street. Two-way yeah, street. It's two- probably unexpected. Like, if I don't call you, you'll call me. And it's yeah. hard because it's like. If he blames it on the wife, then it's like she's a Yeah, he should definitely villain. don't blame no. the wife. He that's should be like, Mom, I'm wedge. really busy. But also, yeah. I think it is important that they do set the boundaries because when they have kids, like, that's going to be a night. calling to talk to a dog. I mean, the baby's, she's going to move in when they have a kid. Yeah. It's going to uh, be. I think you just need to keep reminding your husband, like, make sure you call your mom today or make sure you, like, <laughs> right, for, right when you wake up, you, like, call your mom. He's going to be like, what? 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 Like, well, no, that's what you do every morning. Huh? Or you better start doing like, it. Like, slowly <laughs> poison her with something that will, like, make her lose her voice. And then oh, after, like, a couple months, <laughs> yeah, just do a little gypsy robe. Yeah. But then she'll move in and be like, well, now we can. Well, you sign have up to like American Sign Language and then, yeah, there's there's ways around it. Yeah. What if she started what? calling her instead of the husband? The wife? Yeah. Ooh. And then I feel like she'd be like, I don't want to talk to her. Like the mom That's would be like, an interesting I don't want to talk to her. Huh. Like, yeah. like, oh, he's busy, but here I am. Yeah, what? but it sounds like she's catching him like on the way to work. Uh, yeah, but if he didn't break, answer. You know, like, or before bed, like, she picks up his phone instead of him picking up. you like, oh, hey, like, he's in the shower. Again, it's me. I would say show, I bet she her, would hang up. show her this clip, because I think that a lot of people don't realize when they're being insane. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, yeah, and they true. just hear another perspective of, like, oh, wait, wait, that's me they're talking about? Like, yeah. I sound like a crazy person. She's, like, cleaning in the other room and hears this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, I feel like a mom who's already, like, this clingy to her child, if he was the one that was, like, Mom, listen, like, I got to take a step back. She would take it so I know. personally. Oh, yeah. Like, <sighs> that she'd be like, he doesn't love me. Yeah. When it's like really just like him having like the most normal behavior. Yeah. So tell her, hey, I sent my dilemma into a YouTuber <laughs> podcast <laughs> and for a bunch the of <laughs> crazy kids in LA and they are talking about us. Tell yeah. us what you think. And then just play yeah, her this easy, clip. Easy, yeah. easy. And then problem solved. Yeah. And if she has a problem, we can get on a three way FaceTime. I'll resolve it. For oh you. yeah, she can call you. Five I would times love a day. to have her on. Have the mom on. It would be so interesting to hear her perspective. I know. I agree. Can we uh, zoom? Maybe in? she thinks he, she's doing him a favor. No, <laughs> yeah, she's she like he can't live without have, me. She doesn't yeah. have a job. Sounds like she probably doesn't have friends. Yeah, doesn't have a lot to do. Or like, maybe spread she up the friends. phone calls between each of your four children. Yeah, you know. Call what, one. Imagine call she one does. Day. Oh my god, just all day just 25 calls a day with all her kids this episode was kind of like um <laughs> chatty and chatty and advice we can call it advice yeah well, of course yeah but we if anyone our, was expecting a full hour and 15 of advice you never know what you're gonna get yeah keep you keep you on your toes so, <laughs> your little cute toes up. yeah okay follow Wait, us everywhere are you guys feet oh. people what does that mean way. like like a, do they fetish? turn you on no no i Keep the, keep the socks on. Just, I could guess that. Just, I mean, no, they don't turn no, me on, no. but I'm not grossed out by feet. Okay. I think it's the Do same certain way, like, feet hands. gross you feet? out? No, 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 no. So there's a hand, or if there's a foot like grazing down your chest, like, like, oh, like a foot on mind. your cock, <laughs> would that be sexy to you? Don't mind. But okay. it's not like because it's a foot. It's yeah. the same like hands and feet to me are like equal. I can look down at someone and be like, damn, they got some ugly feet. What would you like, do if some girl was like, I disgusting. want to give you a foot job <laughs> what I, just for mike it's so funny there's i'm it's not gonna happen and what if their toes were like <laughs> nasty would you leave what if you thought you met the love of your life and her biggest turn on was giving foot jobs if she was that good at it sure <laughs> <laughs> why not that sounds yeah. Like not the, but her feet her toes are like super long and like crusty <laughs> no 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 she's normal feet even if they're the best feet in the world <laughs> yeah like like sometimes like if i'm and you know when you're hanging out living with people and they'll be like they're barefoot on the couch i will like sit on another couch i hate feet okay okay, okay. i don't want a, i don't want to see your foot i don't want to smell your foot i don't want to yeah. touch my your foot's foot. never smelled Great, good Just for you. One, it's people, one time. you know people are like turned on by stinky feet yeah oh Ooh. yeah <laughs> Don't kink shame. I'm not kink Aaron shaming. Aaron sells her used socks on OnlyFans. Do you really? Sometimes. Not really anymore, but yeah. 
stink them up real good. You ever sell your bath water? I've seen that's a thing that people do. No. Yeah, that girls, sounds like a lot of work. I don't take baths. Yeah, no, but you, you don't t- have you to. You take one bath. And then you just sell the entire oh my gallon God, of water. It just starts it's <laughs> algae good, forms. It's good at economies oh, of scale. Oh, ruining my appetite. You Dude, said there's mold. <laughs> Realistically, you don't even have... Just put water in a mean, yeah, fucking you could fake jar. It, but, yeah. yeah. You know, What's the fun in that? I bet... Uh, I read an article about a girl who made like millions of dollars selling her bath water. Slay. Go off like Farts queen. in the jar. She was farts like, in the stop. jar. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. What a way to end. Foot jobs and farts in jars.